Hey everybody, this is a lesson for my version of The River by Aurora. It's a very simple way of playing this song, and it is also much, much softer. If you want to play along to the original, you can put the kappa on the 2nd fret. I put mine on the 6th fret, so I can sing this 8 semitones lower. We have a C chord. We're going to pick the A string and the G and B for this. Then we have an A minor, and then we have a G. For this G, we're going to do this um, three finger version with the open B string. Otherwise, it sounds quite different. After we pick those strings on G, we're just going to pick the B string again for effect, because it gets really quiet there. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that is our intro. And we continue to play these uh, same chords for the first. So, hold your hands up to your chest and tell me what you find. Out of you, a sparrow comes and sees without its eyes. And then we stay on this G chord. And we pick both E strings, then the B string, now this chord is supposed to be an F, but I'm not really using um, the A, D, and G strings, so I just bar it like this with fingers one and two you get all six strings um, and the notes you play are still just the notes from an F major basically in such a quiet song like this um, I do anything I can to make sure that my strings ring out for as long as possible. And an F shape actually kind of doesn't help so much with that. Okay, so for this one, for this F, we're um, still picking the two E's together and then the B string and we do that a couple of times um, you can also play this F with a mini bar if you can't do the bar you can just bar the strings B and E with the tip of your first finger and uh, the tricky bit is they actually have to play the E at the top with your thumb it's the same thing, so you're avoiding that F shape if you can't play it. So we have Don't forget who you are even though you are hurt You are caught in a wire and soon it will burst And now we get to the chorus and we're coming back to um, a C major and we strum it this time You can cry The second chord, by lifting the first finger, we're turning that C major into a C major 7. And now we have an F here. So if, uh, if you can play an F, which I would highly recommend that you learn how to do, <laughs> um, if you can play an F, Use your third finger as an anchor 
again just so you don't lift everything off and then put it all back down because that creates noise and uh, as simple as this song is because of how quiet it is any little noise that you make will stand out so you have to be pretty careful about how you move your fingers around so there we go we have you can cry drinking your eyes I can't really sing that so well but you get the point you can uh, you can tell what the timing is there do you miss the sadness when it's gone so on gone we play a G major and now here comes a bit of a tricky bit on and you let the river run wild uh, the timing changes a little bit it goes and you let the river run my heart let's count that and see exactly where it all falls you can probably play it on instinct but it's never a bad thing to know what you're actually doing so here we go oh and before we start these um, strums here try to not do a proper strum where you're just hearing all the strings together do a spread instead it sounds a lot nicer like a harp so you're going to just sort of press the strings so we can hear them independently all right so let's start a metronome and check out what the situation is with that uh, and you let the river run wild bit do you miss the sadness when it's gone and you let the river run so we have the E minor on the third beat and we have the F on the fourth beat. Most of the chords in this song, actually I think all of them in, except for uh, E minor and F, are on the first beat of a bar. So it's very simple. Um, but this is going to be a little different. So here we go. Two. We're going to start from the beginning of the chorus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You can cry. Drink in your eyes. Do you miss the sadness when it's gone? And you let the river run wild. And you let the river run wild. Okay, here we go. From the first chord of the chorus, which is a C. Two, three, four, one, two, three. You can cry. Drink in your eyes. Do you miss the sadness when it's gone? And you let the river run wild. So there we go. So we have that E minor on the third, uh, no, actually on the fourth beat of the bar right before F. So it goes like this. Let's count the whole thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You can cry. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. So on four and one, we have an A, uh, we have an E minor and an F. And that is pretty much the whole song. Um, if you're playing this uh, simple acoustic version, that I did, which you can uh, probably see in the description or somewhere in uh, suggested videos. So there you go. If you can't play an F bar in the chorus, um, 
you can sort of replace it with an F major 7 but it doesn't sound that great. What actually does sound great, I think, is a C6 slash 11. Um, if that sounds complicated, don't worry, because it's not. So all, all it is, is you will bring your third finger one string higher, and then put the fourth one where the third one was. So now you have that, and you still um, let the E string ring. There we go, C6 slash 11. So you have another option is a C add 4. Um, so here we go. That one looks like that. So it's just the, the thing that I was showing you before, the C6, but with the second finger off. It's even easier to play, I guess. So it would go... These two alternatives only sound good the first time though. I would still recommend that you use um, a proper F. So yeah. <laughs>